high touches, and you guys are going to have to deal with that all night, even if there's a Wendell Carter Jr. who is back, and all those different guys for Orlando who they can throw at Giannis. I think he recognized that, went to work right away, did a great job getting it started for Milwaukee. And it wasn't the sexiest of games for these Milwaukee Bucks. I mean, 15 of his 37 came from the free throw line, but he goes 15 for 19. How big is that for Giannis and these Bucks as they try to close out these type of grind them out games, Steve? Yeah, I think especially when you watch Giannis' free throw shooting over the, I'd say the last month, month, month or so, he really is shooting his free throws noticeably better. And I think it's something you almost don't want to talk about because it's going so well. But at the same time, when you have a guy like Dame Lillard out there who's knocking free throw after free throw down, doesn't seem like he ever misses them, it's a little contagious. And then you also see Giannis saying, look, I can be the guy who closes game, getting in on the act of knocking those free throws down, making teams pay. Because the truth is, if you can't foul Giannis, and when he free throws instead of just one a lot of times, it really makes teams pay. Well, Dame Lillard was 10 for 10 from the free throw line. He goes for 24. And what a homestand it's been for Dame. How do you describe... You know, him putting a bow on an... Hey, because the truth is, if you can't foul Giannis, and when he free throws instead of just one a lot of times, it really makes teams pay. Well, Dame Lillard was 10 for 10 from the free throw line. He goes for 24. And what a homestand it's been for Dame. How do you describe, you know, him putting a bow on an amazing homestand tonight? You know, the homestand, I think, was finally really saw the Dame Lillard we expected. He came out talking about 33 points four games ago, then 39, then 40 last game. And now you see him with 24, like we just saw what Giannis did. When you combine it, 24 for Dame, 37 for Giannis. When they're playing well at the same time, you're starting to see really what we expected this Bucks team to be. And so they sit at 21 and 7. Right now, it's a heck of a record. They're in a great spot. The homestand right before the holidays seemed to come at a good time. There were some softer opponents. They took care of business. There were no trap games. They didn't let that dick. Yes, the Pistons are not the best teams in the world. But you see a lot of teams they fall against those those kind of teams yeah. at home. And so Milwaukee took care of business and then finished strong with this one against Orlando. So just a good sign, and it has a lot to do with Giannis and Dame playing well together at the same time. And it was a homestand filled with milestones and career nights. Well, Dame Lillard tonight moved into top 50 all-time in scoring in the NBA with his 24 points. Still to come here on Bucks Live, mentioned the homestand, a perfect 6-0 and for these Milwaukee Bucks. We're going to recap the successful homestand look ahead to New York. It's all coming up next. Your year 15 and 1 so far this year here at Fiserv Forum. It's been a fun season to witness so far for these Milwaukee Bucks. Time now for our Habish Habish and Road Tier numbers that work and in Milwaukee Bucks as we take a look at their six wins on the year, a couple of double digit performances. This was one of their tightest of this homestand really bookended between the Bulls and the Magic. Overall though, Steve, offense really on display. You know, it really was on display. More than anything, I think you really saw a lot of guys at the same time playing well together. And so that really stood out to be honest with some big performance in the end. He's showing a little emotion, letting everybody know, yeah, these games, they do matter. And so seeing him become the franchise rebound leader as well against Houston, like you said, Stephen, there were just a few things along the way. Scoring his 20,000th point, Damian Lillard, which just makes him the 51st player in NBA history. Just... Those kind of accolades happen when the offense is clicking and guys are really putting on display, I think, what will make this Bucks team so dangerous, which, yes, the defense, of course, has to improve as the season goes on. It is a long year. It can be grueling sometimes, I think, to be so consistent. And so it's something that a lot of people mention to me as I see them in the street and they come up to me and they get, what about the defense? And I say, look, it's a long year. I do think we have the personalities and the guys with the abilities to play the defense. The Brooke Lopez, the Giannis Antetokounmpo's, those guys are very willing defenders and so to see these offensive accolades and scoring the ball I think it stands out that these are some special offensive players you've got on this team. Yeah they had a 64 point performance of 40 five different 30 plus point performances just on this home stand alone so we're witnessing some great offense and I know the defense is still working towards there but these Bucks are still 21 and 7 right yeah. now and they're still working through some things that's pretty scary for the rest of the league. You know it is and we're great and I feel like this Milwaukee team they have the opportunity to, to be great if they are exactly who they are and they make other teams adjust and I think who they are is an offensive team right now they've got that firepower and I don't think they're a terrible team defensively I think that is going to start to creep up getting better and better as the season goes on and as it really matters for this defense to lock in scoring more points tends to work out in this game still to come here All right, no game balls today but very good win against a very good team. You know, they competed. They're long, athletic, you know, very uh, defensive-minded. 
I thought the second half, how we came out and kind of set the tone from there. And, uh, you know, give, give them credit, really good team. But I like how we uh, responded in the second half. Uh, I, th I think you guys are 0 of 7 from 3 in the fourth quarter just shoot 30 percent from the field we've talked so often about the offense kind of carrying you guys just what does it mean to win ugly when it went in a way that you guys have yeah we had to get stops obviously uh but I, I love the shots that we were getting you know we were getting open threes and uh they didn't they just didn't fall tonight um but those shots that you know when you're taking those type of high quality shots they're going to fall but we were able to continue to get stops. I didn't like, uh, you know, just the offensive rebounding at, at the end. Um, we could have put them away probably a little bit sooner. So you got to play, you know, um, we kind of kept it close because we gave up two offensive rebounds in, in, in the last few few minutes of, of the game. Uh, outside of that, you know, it was, uh, you know, those are greedy wins because it's a very, uh, they're, they're big, they're long, um, they're athletic. And it's a physical game, but I thought that, you know, we, we took on the challenge tonight and we came out with the W. Uh, obviously, they're very physical defensively. Just what do you think of Dame's ability to find it? Um, we kind of kept it close because we gave up two offensive rebounds in, in, in the last few few minutes of, of the game. Uh, outside of that, you know, it was, uh, you know, those are greedy wins because it's a very, uh, they're, they're big, they're long, um, they're athletic. And it's a physical game, but I thought that, you know, we, we took on the challenge tonight and we came out with the W. Uh, obviously, they're very physical defensively. Just what do you think of Dame's ability to find an adjustment that would work in the fourth quarter for him? As far as off Dame has the ability to shoot it deep or he can get low to the ground and turn the corner and try to get angle and finish at the rim or get to the free throw line. And I thought... They have a lot of length at the rim, but again, that's the uh, you know Dame. He's going to put you in a bind. You know, if you, if you bring your bigs up, he has the ability to go around them. If you if your bigs are back, he he has the ability to shoot shoot the three. And I thought, you know, in the second half when we really needed a bucket, um, you spoke about changes in defense, turnovers to start the game. Um, you know, they had eleven points off turnovers as they kind of took the lead in the second quarter. Even if they took the ball from you, they weren't necessarily scoring. So what what was impressive about that or, or, or how were you guys able to do that to prevent, you know, those sort of free baskets and feel right, easy? You, you, you know, make miss or turnover, you got to sprint back and protect, uh, protect the paint. Um, that's what Orlando does. You know, they, they're top two, top three and force some turnovers and and then uh, they able, they're able to convert in the open floor with their you know the athleticism and whatnot um so it was where i thought we got a little careless with the ball and we were turning it over um but there were times we were able to get back and, and protect the pain and uh you know they they live in the pain so we did a good job of uh you know protecting the three-point line that's Ideally, for them, that's not their, their strength, uh, but getting to the paint is. And we, I thought we had some issues early on, especially in the pick and rolls with, you know, with Franz. Is, he's crafty. You know, he's, on, he's, he's like 6'10", 6'11". He can handle the ball. Um, him and his brother have a great chemistry. That 4'5", you know, 3'5", you know. And so, but I thought we did a good job in the, in the second half of kind of adjusting to it. Um, you mentioned Dame at the end of the game. Giannis, 13 in the first quarter, 23 in the first half. Uh, what, what sort of tone did he set, especially offensively? There? I thought Giannis really set the tone. He was aggressive to start the game, just attacking the rim. Um, you know, when he does that, you know, those are high percentage shots. <laughs> it gives our team confidence. I thought, you know, and, and then others will, will follow. Um, you know, that's a very good d defensive team. Uh, you uh, ideally you want to attack before they can set their defense up, and and Giannis in open floor is is as good as it gets. That's Bucks head coach Adrian Griffin still to come here on Bucks Live, headed to the Big Apple for. A Đến với cái YouTube của mình hôm nay mình sẽ review cho cây bút hình cây bút mà quả nho. Cây bút quả nho này của mình sẽ có một cái chùm nho màu tím và trên lá cây rất là xanh xanh tươi mơn mởn 
Và trong cái chùm nho này của mình sẽ gồm có tất cả là 9 quả nho Và thân cây bút cũng được làm à, thiết kế với cái màu tím nhạt Để hợp với cái màu chùm nho của chúng ta Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một cây bút Cây bút trái tim Cây bút trái tim này của mình với thiết kế đó là Có một hình trái tim và cùng với một cái hình trái tim sẽ có cái đôi cánh thiên thần rất là đẹp Và cây bút trên tay mình đang cầm là sẽ có một cái màu xanh Xanh uh, xanh dương nhạt rất là đẹp Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một bút bắp ngô Bút bắp ngô của mình sẽ có một cái hình trang trí ở trên cái đầu bút rất là đẹp Đó là hình bắp ngô Bắp ngô như thế này Và trên cái thân bút sẽ có một cái hình bắp ngô màu vàng ở đây Chú bắp ngô này của mình sẽ đeo cái kính dâm rất là xịn, xịn sò Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review cây bút vệt à, Cây bút chú vệt này của mình có độ một chiếc vương miện màu tím rất là đẹp Và đôi má hồng rất là xinh xắn đáng yêu Được phồng lên rất là to Và cây bút này của mình à, đang cầm đây Sẽ có là một màu vàng đi kèm với cái màu chú vệt Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn một cây bút thiên nga Cây bút thiên nga này của mình, chú thiên nga của mình thì đã có trên tay mình đã cầm đó là màu tím Và đôi cánh của chú thiên nga sẽ được là màu trắng Trên cái đỉnh đầu của chú thiên nga sẽ được đội một chữ vương miện màu vàng rất là đẹp Và cái cây bút của mình cũng được thiết kế với màu tím trùng màu với cái màu của chú thiên nga Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review cây bút hoa hồng Cây bút hoa hồng của mình à, Mình đang cầm trên tay đó là có cái bông hoa hồng ở trên cái đầu bút Các bạn nhìn kỹ này 
sẽ có bông hoa hồng được nằm trên cái đầu bút và cái cây bút mình đang cầm đó là được thiết kế đó là màu hồng trùng với cái màu của bông hoa hồng